Well, we got some CGC books back. We're going to go through the grades and what we got. Under the sea, under the sea, there'll be no accusations, just friendly crustaceans under the sea. So this is Amazing Spider-Man issue 9. It's the first appearance of Electro. Big key, early Spider-Man book and they're always going up at the moment. So I have gone with a 2.5. I've gone for a 3. I went for a 3.5. And love this book, love the cover of it. I got this from Comic Mart, London Comic Mart if you've been. Highly recommend it, uh, about six months ago. Um, I think I paid around about 300, don't tell my wife. Um, <laughs> but I'm selling my other copy. What did we get? 3.5, well then do it. Wow, I was off to a good start already. Told you I'm winning this one. Lovely copy. Very nice. Slightly frayed spine. But, white um, pages. Wow, white pages, 3-5. That is not a book to be sniffed at. White pager. Beautiful. Okay, next we've got X-Men 12. <laughs> but this is first appearance of Juggernaut. Um, this was missing a page inside and there was another page uh, detached, so which was an advert page. So we just removed that. Uh, so I had this down as a 3.5. Lewis? Uh, I went for a 3.5 as well. I got slightly higher before I went Nice copy, although be it qualified. First appearance of Juggernaut comes back as 4.0. Well, well done, Marcus. So Marcus Marcus. again. Well done. This is higher. <laughs> yeah, so uh, at the minute it's 1 1 0 to me. I'm not doing very well with this one, no, are I? No, it feels nice. Next up, we got You're Not Seeing Things is another X Men 12. Uh, first appearance of Juggernaut again. Um, it's great, but super, super sought after for early X Men collectors or just X Men collectors in general. Uh, I went for a 3.0. I went for a 2. I've gone with a 3.0, same as Lewis. I think I may have undergraded this. Um, but I, I don't know, I don't think it would be a 3. I don't know, we'll see. It's slightly braid spine. Um, yeah, so a lower grade copy, but nice. What did we get, Lewis? We got a 3.0. 3. Okay. Well, I've lost. <laughs> well done, well done, this well done, guys. So, uh, so it's it's two two zero. Tiebreaker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm this doing, is the tiebreaker. I'm doing appalling. Yeah, oh, nothing else. Let's hope it is the final. Okay. Fire. The final one we've got is X Men 50. The one I'm most excited to see. Yeah. So this used to be a nine with CGC. Uh, we got it cracked and pressed, we thought it may benefit, um, but who, who knows, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so I've gone for a 9. Same again, 9.0. No and I went for an ambitious 9.2. Uh, this is an amazing cover, this is Strangle, yes. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely um, classic. Really, really nice book for this. And it's got a... <laughs> it's got that. Oh, that is gutting. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I will check the greatest notes on this. I do not know why it's come back in eight. Um, it was it was a nine with CGC. Uh, I think Alex is about to cry. I think I may cry. Um, but that is the gamble with CGC. Um, you know, it is down to opinion sometimes, so uh, grading is subjective. So, you know, it is what it is. But thank you for watching this video. Let's end on the high. We've got some great books here and we'll see you next time. Bye! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, so we're probably going to send this back into CGC, see what we get back. Uh, really a bit gutting. Uh, the fact that it was a 9 and it's now an 8, but like I say, grading is subjective. Oh no! I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty gutted. <laughs>